This is a clip of Max Blumenthal of the Gray Zone addressing the UN Security Council on Ukraine aid. This is only detail of his address so please go to the Gray Zone through the link below to hear the whole thing. The stats and facts provided by Max will shock you. So while military-age Ukrainian men are ripped off the streets by military police and sent to the front lines, the financially and politically connected architects of this proxy war are planning to walk through the revolving door to reap unimaginable profits once their time in the Biden administration is over. For them, a negotiated settlement to this territorial dispute means an end to the cash cow of close to $150 billion in U.S. aid to Ukraine. So in closing, when the United States, my country, a permanent member of this council, has fallen under the control of a bipartisan regime which seeks to perpetuate a proxy war for as long as it takes, in the words of Joe Biden, which considers diplomacy synonymous with unilateral coercive measures to, quote, turn the ruble to rubble, as Biden pledged to do, whose leadership subverts negotiations in order to pursue profit while refusing to properly its inform its own citizens what they're paying for and pushes the sons and brothers of its supposed Ukrainian party partners out onto a killing field in order to bludgeon a geopolitical rival, when both Zelensky and members of U.S. Congress are calling for preemptive strikes on Russia, which have nothing to do with Article 51 of the U.N. Charter, this Council must take action to enforce that Charter. That Charter is clear that the Security Council must use its authority to guarantee a Pacific settlement of dispute, particularly when it threatens international security. That should not only apply to Russia and Ukraine. This Council has an obligation to strictly monitor and restrain the U.S. and the illegal military formation known as NATO. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video and please consider liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.